We got a lot of hate last time for only doing the speed run in one direction, despite the fact that, you know, I was just having a bit of fun. But that's why we're back here today. Hey guys, we're out here in the Yu Yangs in Victoria and uh, here with Ben. Ben, a couple of weeks ago, hit an unofficial <laughs> speed world record at 603 kilometers an hour. And we're out here today to kind of prove the point that that wasn't just a fluke and we're gonna do it in both directions and uh, try and make sure we uh, have a proper world record. Probably got this morning a 20K wind on the ground right now, but you know, for the people out there, I'm going to be going both directions. So I'm going to go with the wind, downwind, and then go into the wind with a headwind. So we should get a good average there. So Ben, <laughs> you excited about today? Yeah, keen as. <laughs> yeah. Good to be. Good to finally prove it. <laughs> yeah. So the way it works with Guinness is you get four attempts at the run: two upwind and two downwind. And you take the best upwind run and the best downwind run, and then average those. And uh, today, are we actually going for the real world record, or are we just trying to verify that we can get close? Nah, so today we just want to prove the concept, prove we can get over 580. So here's the drone. No changes really, is there? No, it's all the same as last time. Batteries 22 degrees, motors 12. Speedy plugs around 15. So the speed control is just uh, increasing in temperature slowly once they're plugged in, even under no load. So I want to try and keep them relatively cool. Okay, let's do it. Powering up. Why are you nervous? Things could go wrong, <laughs> pushing everything to the edge a bit. Yeah, okay. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Let's just do it. Okay. Uh, 600 k's an hour. Here we Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> 400, 500, 580, 590, 600, 605. That's it. Okay. So that's our a new PB there. That's with the wind though. 600. <laughs> Another 600. That's good, it's pretty chill, yeah. Yeah, yeah nice. No issues. Ooh, the motors are a toasty 24 degrees. <laughs> and I mean, they are cool to the touch. Yeah, pretty crazy. Cool, cool to touch. 600 That's... Ks an hour, cool to touch. Pretty amazing. Yeah, they're, they're hot. The batteries are hot. I'll check how much capacity I use because that's, that's almost the biggest problem I've got, 17%. So that's, on the, that's the limit. On the left. We'll see how fast it went. I still dived into it again. I'm sure people will hate that. And Sorry, just real quick. That was six seconds at full throttle then. Yeah, um, so coming this average way Average 580, so 555. Is it? Yeah. So I, I just did 25 Ks over the record. Okay, I'm turning around, punching in. 200, 300. 400, 500, 530, 540, 550, 562 maybe. I was over 555. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but it was it was quicker. Nice. I'd say maybe it'll be similar to the last run. 70. It's a bit warmer this one. Had about six cycles and it's finally starting to puff a bit. Okay. And push them to the limit. Nine <laughs> percent. Yeah, probably what made them puffy. Yeah. It's a little overshoot. Uh, one of my motor fairings has just come loose. The glue joints cracked on it, so I'm just going to run some glue in there. Amazing. All right. Let's do some uh, yeah. quick get maths. Back. Get your phone out. 605 plus 562 divided by two. 583.5. <laughs> Three and a half k's over. Yeah, baby. <laughs> well done. How does it feel, man? Like you, you officially That's good. done it. We've proved that it's the world's fastest drone now. And, a lot uh, of hard work went into it. I'm just looking at the run now, the downwind run. I was kind of going flat, climbing at 0.4 meters a second, but then I flattened out to climbing at zero meters a second. And at the max speed, I'm actually descending at like 0.2 meters per second. And I know people are going to complain about that. Making sure to be climbing at max speed. Four hundred, five hundred, five fifty, five sixty, five 
Yeah. So that's good. That's... And they're not puffy, those ones? No. Nah. Yeah, so it makes a big difference. Ben's version quick, of some dry ice. <laughs> quick battery, qu uh, quick speed controller, cool. <laughs> Done. <laughs> measure, the, measure the temp, see what it did. So you came down at what, 50, 60? 32, 31. 20 degrees in 20 seconds. <laughs> Let's do it around the other direction. You want to do it again? Yeah, I just want an average of these two as well. Okay, let's do it. Two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, five sixty, five eighty, ninety. Max speed was six hundred. Sorry, a motor fairing loose. I think ones I just glued didn't dry properly. But it, it did some like wobbles, but survived. 600 plus 566 divided by two, 583. The other one is 583.5. That's two runs, two different wind levels, same results. All right, well, that's a pretty awesome run. Like it's super consistent. And if you averaged your best two out of those four runs, which is what the official record allows you to do, That'd be 605 plus 565 divided by two, 585. 5K's over. <laughs> it's good. Unofficial 585, what are we calling it? Uh, 585. Yeah. That's it. That's the world record, unofficially. Congratulations. Hopefully the people on the internet will be happy. So a lot of people have been asking like uh, how much this thing costs, but uh, you know, the components aren't actually that expensive. It adds up to a lot if you had to buy everything from scratch. Like, um, you know, you're probably looking at 20,000 bucks up to this point, right? From your first prototypes all the way through. That's probably how much it's been spent all up, yeah. Yep. So what are you doing now, Ben? You just... Oh, I'm just doing the run with the Mavic to give a bit of a comparison. It's crazy how much difference it makes. It looks like it's not even moving. So, um, I got involved with Ben. He, uh, he's actually worked for me at XM2 for a number of years, which is, if you don't know, is like a, a world-renowned cinematography company for drones and uh, anything moving cameras. And Ben works as an engineer at XM2, and he started working on this project uh, privately about a year and a half ago. And, you know, probably about six, seven months ago, he came to me and he sort of said, oh, I'd like to go a little bit further this, and is XM2 interested in sort of sponsoring it through because it's a it's an expensive endeavor yeah i was starting to spend a lot of money <laughs> need yeah. a bit of help you know yeah so at the time we couldn't see a need for it in xm2 but you know personally uh, i thought it was a really fun project and i just wanted to be involved with it so i said i'll, I'll help you fund it and that's how we got involved and uh, this is how drone pro hub kind of formulated so it's a, a way to sort of fund some fun projects and try and get some uh, fun things going and have that funded by you know YouTube and uh, sponsors on the channel so that's what we're here for. All right. It's raining too much yeah. right <laughs>